Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We are now in the month of November. I had nothing to do in October. So we just went ahead and slept through the entire month. Let's check the, uh, there's no items for sale. Okay. Um, I did not check if there's anything for sale in the month of October. So that's my bad. Um, we are going to, I think all these grass fields are ready to cut. It's a little late to do that technically in real life, but um, we're going to get this going and we are going to put this in the silage silo over there and get it to start making, um, well, silage for us. So, um, with that being said, I need to get the forage and wagon. I'm going to go ahead and feed the cows, give them the max amount of food they can have. And we may buy a few more cows. Because it is taking these guys quite a bit of time to uh, to mature. Uh, 16%, which I think 18 months is when they become to where they can reproduce. Them, them cow, them, that cow is full. I may not be able to put any more food in there. I'll just grab this square bale of hay and take it over there really quick. Come on, buddy. And just drop it down in here and we probably won't need to feed anymore. Yeah, they're full. Okay, so both both cows pastures are full. So we're going to get to cutting some hay here. I guess technically grass. Because we will not be turning this into hay. We just using it as forage for silage. And we're going to be able to cut all of these fields. So there's no telling how much um, we are going to get off of this. It's still a little dark out as the sun's beginning to rise here. So we're gonna start flying through this. I love how fast this thing cuts, man. It's like a freaking dream. Just super crazy fast. And we will probably cut all this grass on the outside too, and just because it gives us a little bit extra yield. And as I'm missing a little bit of our field, I'm sure we will absolutely 1,000% do that. Our plowed field over there is still looking really good. Um, waiting until March to seed it. Like I said, we're gonna put the oats down there, so. That'll be good oats, bring a lot of money, get us some straw for this total mixed ration that we're going to feed these guys here pretty soon. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. I mean, why not? I don't think that our uh, silo over there actually has a, a capacity. So I couldn't see anything that it said it did. And it's, it's a mod, so there's no, it may be heck four million liters for all we know so we're gonna see how much we can put in it we're gonna fill it fill it to the brim and get that stuff making okay buddy you could have just went on and then we wouldn't have had that issue see how much we can get uh, and we can set like if we have a huge excess which we are going to right now because we only have four cows we can uh, just sell it and silage is silage brings a lot is worth a lot of money at the biomass heating plant it is good it is costing us to make it using that instead of a bunker silo which that kind of hurts a little bit but it's like $78 a day or something like that so it's not like it's not like a ton. I missed that little spot there. Must be where I was, where the tractor was parked at where I started.
man, this, this tractor is so nice. I know I just keep saying it over and over again, but for the price we paid and how much horsepower it's got and how we can just absolutely power through this stuff is, is great. Uh, we will be purchasing a bigger rake because we will be using the rake and the mower and all that stuff more than we do any, any other thing we have besides this tractor. That's why, like, you know, the $135,000 I spent on that combine kind of went to waste when we only have one field to harvest when we're using it once a year, but it's ours to own, and uh, we'll just lease the header every time we need it until we get enough money to just buy a header. We get more fields when we've got enough money to buy a header, but I'd rather save that money for something else. So I will be looking to purchase, uh, I think, field 18 and 19 down there in the future, as soon as we can. And they've currently got grass on them too, but I think these uh, five little bitty fields we got will give us enough, especially once I get them 100% fertilized. It's two, one field wasn't, two fields were like at 50%. So once we get these things 100% fertilized, like they'll be, we'll be, we'll be rolling in all the grass that we need. Probably having too much grass. There you go, this little bit right here that I missed. I'll get that on the next go round. I would like to get rid of these little bitty roads through here too and just make this one one big field, but. Um, I don't even want to look at a plow right now. Don't even want to look at one with uh, that stuff that happened uh, with how much, how long it took me to plow that field and how frustrating it was. <laughs> you didn't hear the frustration because it's going it, to, you know, it's a time lapse, but um, I was uh, very frustrated. Yeah, we don't need the tether right now either, so but it was it was cheap. A little small tether. Very, very small tether. So we will need to buy us a bigger rake, because I'm not gonna spend 30 hours um, raking. Raking this area for sure. If we could pull the rake as fast as we can pull this thing, would be that little rake would be good for us. But it was like eight miles an hour, so. Still no items for sale here. Okay, let's look at getting us a windrower. Where are they at? Right here. Okay, that's the one we had. It was fun to use. Two and a half meters working with. So he's really getting five because I went back and forth. Uh, that's 3.4. I kind of want to get a big boy, but not, not that one for 110,000. Although it would be pretty cool to use because it looks interesting. 
I could lease it for five grand. We'll probably make that. 8.4. So this one's 8.4. 9.7, 14 meters, bro. I think this one's nice, and I think we'll just buy it instead of leasing it. I mean, 19 grand. We'll definitely make that out of our money back out of that. And it's like the third largest or fourth largest rake in the game, and they don't it, the 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 working with doesn't go up like crazy until you get to that last one. It's like 60k. So I guess we'll just start right here. It looks like as good a place as any. Are we gonna get is the next question. I think if it's over a hundred thousand liters, um, we're gonna get about eight or nine wagon load fulls here. I can't remember how much this wagon holds. If it's sixteen thousand, then that's gonna be not quite eight or nine, not quite nine.
with the amount of silage and hay that we have. Because I got 40,000 liters of hay in that barn over there. Or that shed, I should say, I guess. And we'll have... Of course, obviously, as we get more cows, that will require more food, but... Um, still, we're going to have so much food for so long. Like, I may end up selling this silage for right now. Because we're not going to have uh, the straw to make uh, total mixed ration anytime soon anyways. And the mixer's, like, super expensive. So, as long as they're happy on the hay, I'm happy to make hay on one cut and then make silage on the other cut and be be good to go so let's go over here and see how much over uh, so 100 almost 120 uh, 117,000 liters of grass so we got off all that which is uh, crazy we've already got 11,000 um, silage in here and silage is going for how much $533 a liter so You can do the math on that. It's going to be a pretty good amount of money. So, all right. Well, that is all done. We don't have anything to do for a few months. So I'm going to leave this episode here. If you liked the video, then hit that like button. And if you want to see more content, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and we'll holler at you. Yeah.